Hi there everybody, Mars here, the Teaching Professional at Southwark Park Golf Club. I just wanted to make this little video about course etiquette and manners and help people with speed of play. I think uh, golf is a game which crucially re relies on self-policing, uh, your honesty around your scoring and the way you treat the other people on the course. It, it's a gentleman's game, does that sound very old fashioned? But uh, I, I think that's what it is. Uh, so I'm going to just do a few things just to help the newer golfers. I think if you've played for a lot, golf for a long time, these things have already been ironed out by other people who've probably corrected you. So let's just start off with just the teeing ground and uh, just being organised one. Um, people dithering about, oh, I need a ball, I need a tee. Get yourself organised. That's going to nick off a couple of seconds. But that's just good, good conditions for every shot you play that you are more prepared. It's more about where to stand sometimes I think on the teeing ground so I think that you should be always fractionally behind the golfer and to the side where they can probably just not see you but know where you are I don't like people standing behind me and out of sight where you subconsciously don't know if you're going to hit them with the club or not so I think it's stand to the side and stand back far enough that you're not interfering with their field of vision so that's just a quick bit on the teeing ground I'm just going to take you up the fairway and stop and just do a bit of good course husbandry on the way so uh, yeah let's get going now this undoubtedly is a biggie and uh, one that i um, really gets my goat i saw not so long ago not recently but not so long ago a guy three guys members here play up the 11th all take huge divots and just strolled on i mean i i find it unbelievable because i think it's one of the worst things that someone can do for two reasons obviously once i've taken a big bit of turf out and left that now the next person could roll into that and if it's not preferred lies then that's a huge problem but it's more about the, the future condition of the course so one moment if I get this now and put it back and gently tread it in it's something like completely repaired in 10 days as though you would never know it had ever been there and it takes something like a completely empty divot it takes about three months to completely recover back to being shallow again so so that's that's one quickie put back every divot i mean there is just zero excuse for you not doing it um so that's one next one is about um people who've lost a ball potentially so you've hit a terrible shot you've hooked it into the long grass don't all four of you go and look for it go and sort your ball out and make sure you're happy if you're in the rough you need to get your ball if you're near it go and help him but when you get that thing where all four people are looking for a ball here and all four people because he might just walk over there and find it straight away and you've created yet another backlog that's normally one of the things that gets people's go around speed of play if you're doing that all the time and you've got a four ball that's struggling and all four troop off to look for the ball it will take you a long time right let's head nearer the green okay so here's a good rule of etiquette to keep keep things flowing if no one's ever told you this before and most of you will know all these things i'm telling you but uh these are the bit new to golf people that genuinely aren't bad people in any way they just no one's put them straight so we're really slow our four ball is queued up behind us there's three clear holes now before before us so here's the thing once you've lost one clear hole to the group in front you're too slow so you stand to the side and wave that group on the best way to let someone through quite often is on the tee when you've gone to the next tee you've all hit your tee shots you wait for the other group you wait and we go up together and they sail on past you and then you tuck in behind them and then you've got no excuse for not keeping up with that group you know and then if you're a slow four and there's a fast two behind them why spoil their day and you know just let them go get them ahead of you if someone's ahead of you they're not your problem anymore are they so yeah let's think about letting people through if you've lost one clear hole to the group in front you're too slow don't take it as a, a slight against your manhood or that you're less of a golfer it might be the, the, the people behind you are much faster it might be that you've struggled on a couple of holes just let everyone else enjoy their game too and sometimes that means you delaying your game a little bit so yeah let's talk about the green next so actually i'm out here on the 13th and this is very typical so the green keepers start each day and these these bunkers will be in in good nick and they'll be raked up and tidy and ready to go and then the golfers then are responsible for for raking their foot marks and club marks out so i've come to this bunker 
And there is the footmarks and the shot and the footmarks of the player. I couldn't tell you who it is, I don't know, it's not the group in front of me, where they've made zero effort, zero, to collide up behind them. And what's their excuse? Well, it can't be that there's no rake there. So again, it's another thing, I've played my shot, now I'm on your heel print, and I've got a really, really unfair advantage. So rake that bunker, make it nice and tidy, and put the rake back in the bunker. Or leaning on the edge like this is okay. Don't leave the rake outside the bunker, because that stops balls going in, and it is a hazard, and you're supposed to, you know, if you've hit a shot that's towards this bunker, I want it to go in it. So this is uh, Tuesday at um, about one o'clock. So if you're the golfer that's made that, poor. Okay, so here's a quickie about speed of play. It's only a small thing, but they just keep adding up these tiny time, time differences. So 13th green, bag on the right-hand side where I've had a little chip shot from. The other side is the 14th. So where's the place to leave my bag? Well, after I put it out, now I've got a troop all across the green to get my bag. So leave your bag as you're going to exit to the next tee. It's really common sense, but the amount of people that don't do that, and it's just nibbling seconds, and the person behind is like, oh, here they do it again. So obviously the biggie around greens, this greenkeeper, our greenkeeper Jim is a fantastic greenkeeper, and his puts his heart and soul into getting this surface as good for you as he can. Now, pitch marks, pitch marks are probably the thing that gets most people's goat because it will obviously bobble as you go through it while you're putting. Now, you, if you say, oh, I, haven't got my, I haven't got a pitchfork, you've always got a tee. You can use that tee to lever the turf up a little bit, make those little lifting motions and tap it down flat with your putter. What I was always told with it from, from being a junior, and you shouldn't have to do this, is make one men two when it comes to pitch marks because then slowly we'll get this right. And I'm going to tell you, one of the, one of the, in my first few months of being here, I went out after a shotgun start, members only, all members, to um, make a video because I thought if I tuck in behind them, I'll have plenty of time to myself. There was loads of pitch marks, only made by members. And I don't, I don't, you know, maybe people are frightened to say to someone else, oh, go and prepare your pitch mark because you've made a dirty great begin dent there. Or maybe they just concentrate on their game and they've forgotten they've made a mark at the front of the green and their ball's rolled to the back. Make one men two and keep doing it and we'll have lovely greens. Jim's going to do everything he can for you to have a brilliant putting surface. Uh, yeah, and that's that really. I think that it's being organised, taking your time, being courteous to everyone else really is what you're doing. You're, you're, you're treating others as you wish to be treated yourself in terms of the golf course. So no divots, no pitch marks, no unraked bunkers. There's no reason why you can't quickly do those things. That really is part of the game. So that doesn't really relate into taking too long. You couldn't say to me, I didn't rake that bunker because there was a group behind. No, that's not good enough. It's about being an organized, getting your clubs ready, getting your shot. And, and a you know, as you're walking to your ball, you know, you're walking to your ball up on this 13th here for your third shot. In your head, you should have already thought to yourself, that looks about 120 yards. I'm probably going to get my nine iron on that. And you don't need to get there and have a massive kerfuffle and get your laser and your watch out. You be organized, be there on time and get it done. Now, I'm aware that I've had a bit of a, this probably sounds in my tone of voice like a bit of a rant and I don't really want it to be like that. And it's that Victorian sort of tone about that's what's wrong with golf, the young people can't, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I don't mean it like that, I just mean this is a traditional game which relies on you doing certain things for this all to run beautifully smoothly together. So we can have a group of juniors behind me, a group of seniors in front of me. We're all keeping the pace of play, everyone's happy. Good morning, lovely to see you, what a great shot. By the way, come on through, you're a little bit quicker than us. Beautiful. And then we go in the bar and say, how was your game? So it wants to be friendly, but at the same time, if I'm playing with you and you've taken a divot, I'm going to say to you, oh, you pick your divot up, mate, you know, put it back. Because I, I am going to say that, and I think that you should police like that as well. It doesn't have to be aggressive, it's just got to be right. So uh, I hope this has come across right. It's one of my one take videos and I'm not going to really listen to it back. So yeah, see you all next week and uh, enjoy your game at the weekend.